Bubble Pop Kids here. Welcome back to the show. We got a candy bonanza today. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. I am like craving some sugar. Got a bunch of it right here on my table and a bunch of good ones. We're going to test them out and we're going to test this one. The original bag of poo. <laughs> poop in a bag. Bag poop in a bag. Freshness you can taste. I don't really know what is going on with this. Ugh, I was walking around a craft store, believe it or not, and I saw this. It's such a flat little bag. Like, I don't know what it is. Can't even describe. Doesn't feel like gummies. It doesn't feel like hard candies. I don't know, but we're gonna eat that. I think it's okay if we eat it because it's authentic, premium, quality, guaranteed. Besides that crazy little bag of poo, what else do I got here? Lots of good ones. Ooh, look at this. This is yummy. We got some minions, a candy jewelry. Look at these, we got all those little minions. There's little Bob. It looks like a necklace and bracelets. And those look super sweet, kind of like sweet tops. Yum. Another little sweet treat that looks really yummy and pretty, actually. It looks so cool. This taffy wheel. I have never seen one of these. It's a three foot rope of like strawberry taffy. It almost looks like a candy cane. I'm so curious what that's gonna taste like. You got a pretzel on a stick. Is it chocolate or like lollipop? Oh, we got a weird one. Look at this, you guys. It's so strange, but it looks yummy. It's like a pretzel on a stick lolly with little pieces of like, it's. I think it's sugar, but it's supposed to be salt and it looks like some mustard drizzle. What is that gonna taste like? It doesn't even have a flavor, so I'm super curious but it looks good. And of course, you know I had to put my little Japanese candies from Tokyo, I got a few of those. Look at these, such a cute little package. They're candy stickers, they're like little grapes. I think they're grape flavored. But these are always so yummy. And this one is really cool. It is bubble gum in a tube. <laughs> it looks like toothpaste. Look at that guy. He literally looks like he's gonna explode. Is this like exploding toothpaste bubble gum? Better not be. I am so, so anxious. I'm so anxious to try this out and just see what it's all about. I don't know the flavor, I can't read it. But if that doesn't look like little kid's toothpaste, I don't know it does, I really don't. And for some other little Japanese candies, oh look how cute these are. These are so adorbs. There's one, two, three, four, five, six mini boxes. Of like little fruity candies. She got some fishy, fishy. And a little sweet tree from Tokyo. Look at these little sushis. They are so cute. I have had gummy sushis. These are almost like rock hard candies, like those little sucker candies. And they are just so detailed. It's like in a little bento box. Can't wait to try those. And what else? Couple more. Ooh. We got some Ringling Brothers. Little Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey ring pops. I used to go to that circus all the time when I was little, and I just think they're so cute. Look at that little tiger, little elephant, and this creepy little clown face. Ooh, <laughs> try those. And the final two little goodies of the bananas. We got some craziness. We got a little Doc mix stuff, and look at this little chocolate egg. I think it's like a surprise toy in there. And shoving up. Jelly Belly, I have never tried these. Right, you little sweet of teens. Normally you're my little bubble teens, but today we got all these sweet treats going. What do you see? We open them one at a time, test them out, and see what we got here. Let's do it. Bubble, look at this. You got the three feet taffy wheel. A taffy wheel, yes. I thought, hey, why not? Might as well kick it off with this taffy wheel. I have never seen a taffy wheel. I'm just so amazed by it. I think it looks like a candy cane and a lollipop, but it's not even one of those things. It is taffy. Check it out. See if it's really three feet. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Candy canes. Oh, well, you're joking, right? That's not a taffy wheel. It's like a wheel of candy canes. Little candy cane wheel. Ew. 
Well, for some reason, I thought it was gonna roll out and I was gonna stretch it, but no, it's got all these little pieces. But you guys, this smells too good. It smells, it's not peppermint. It definitely is like a strawberry. Mmm, it's delicious. No peppermint? Fruity flavor. Don't let them look at this fool you guys because it looks like a candy cane, but it tastes like a cheesecake, like a strawberry cheesecake. Oh, so good. It's very soft when you chew it, almost like a gum texture, but then it's very sweet and creamy, like strawberries and cream. And I just can't get enough of it. I love it. It's so amazing. I love how it breaks into all these little pieces. You could share it. Look at that, like a little lollipop. Sweetie Pass, we are moving on from some taffy to some bubble gum in a tube. Look at this little tubey, it looks like toothpaste. And I'm kind of scared, I'm so scared. I don't know what it's gonna taste like. I can't even read the flavor, but it's cute. So we'll give it a little try, let's see. Ooh, ooh. Ew. Are you serious with this? This is what you call bubble gum. Ah. I am so afraid. Oh, I'm such a chicken. I don't know what this could possibly taste like. It smells really bad. It smells like, whew, it smells bad. Take a little pee. Ugh. Whoa. Bubble, literally tastes like chicken liver. Chicken liver in rock. A toothpaste tube. Stop <laughs> No more, please. Oh, my friend Colleen actually got me this on her trip. And the whole time I had it for like a few weeks, I've been like, oh, it's so cute. I can't wait to try it. No way. It's got the weirdest texture. It doesn't even look like gum. It doesn't even look like candy. It looks like some kind of glue. Kind of tastes like glue. Oh, so gross. Don't like it. I found a candy that I don't like because I like everything but this. Ugh, I don't know who could eat it. I don't even think little kids would like it. They would like spit it out. It's really bad. It's got a bad taste and look at that. It looks like Elmer's glue. It's like slime. <laughs> Ew. Oh, I seriously wish I can read the ingredients to know like what exactly this is, but I can't because it's in Japanese. What else? The last one was super gross, but I'm having better hopes for this little pretzel stick. This looks like, I can't even describe it guys, it looks like a real pretzel, but it's obviously some kind of sugar candy. Look at the mustard on that, ugh. Makes me want a real one. See what this tastes like, I'm so curious. It looks delectable. Get my little pretzel on a stick. Now there's two things this could be. It could really be a real pretzel covered in chocolate, or it could just be some sugar candy. I'm thinking more sugar candy. Mmm, smells so good. Ooh, it smells like caramel. And it looks like it's got mustard, but it definitely doesn't smell like mustard. It just smells like caramel and almost like a cookie. Mmm. We got a winner, you guys, out of the three I tried. This is winning so far. It's so good. It's so like caramelly, but it's not soft. It's like a hard candy with tons of these little sugar crystals. If I had to compare this to something, you know what it tastes like? A sugar daddy. One of those little caramel pops. It is just so good. Not too sweet, but very, very creamy. And in my opinion, it's better than a pretzel. It would have been better than a real chocolate pretzel. Mmm, she best. Eat it all. <laughs> Delicious! On a stick. I love you. Let me pop this back in the wrapper. I gotta save this baby. I'm saving it for dessert. It's just so, so tasty. If you love caramel, you would love this thing. I think I actually got it at Michael's, the craft store, when I was looking for some slime. Really good. So good. Yeah, bubble. How about a little seven up to wash it down? To wash down your pretzel. Seven up bubble. Are you up for it? So excited about these. Oh, two of my favorite things wrapped into one. I love 7 Up and I love Jelly Belly. I can only imagine these are gonna taste so real, just like the soda. And I love this little bottle, it's so adorable. Let's pop the top on this baby and take a little taste here. Oh, ooh, you know what they look. They kind of look like they're glow in the dark. Look at that crazy color. Bella, am I 
opinion, these taste more like Mountain Dew. You know Mountain Dew? Not 7-Up, but they're so good. Woo, these are sweet. They are good, but woo, they are like little sugar bombs. Taste exactly like 7-Up. They have that lemon limey taste with kind of a crunch. They kind of taste like Mountain Dew too. My guys are so good in the color. It looks like Sprite or 7-Up. These are delicious, but you can only eat a couple because they are sweet. They're like little, they're like little sugar cubes. That's it, Bubba. You hit the nail on the head. They are little 7-Up sugar cubes. Drop them in my tea. They're so sugary. And yummy. So guys, we've tried some good ones, some not so good ones, and we are finally on to the poo bag. We've got a little brown bag of the original poo. Let's eat it. Bubba. Don't mess with me. I'm the original poo. The original poo. Oh, the original poo is too scary. We have to destroy and eat him. Right now. Oh, here it goes. It's like a little, you know what this looks like? A little bag of uh, cookies or something. I don't know. Maybe they're little poop cookies. Uh, let's try. I'm so nervous. Is it going to be brown? Ooh. Ew. Bubble, please. Don't tell me this is happening. Right now. Right here. This is poop. In a bag. Ah. Come on, I know it's candy and I know it's not poop, but look at it. Oh, it looks like some dried up doggy poo that was been flattened. And what is that right there? It's kind of a light brown and then it goes dark. Oh. Let's see. I don't know. This is scary. This is really bad. I'm not feeling too good about it. Don't be so worried about it, Bubble, because it smells like cotton candy, not cocoa cotton candy. Let me try. Poop. Bubble teens, if any of you have a weak stomach, do not look at this right now, because once you bite into this, that's what it looks like. Ew. 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 Literally, it looks like doggy diarrhea in your hand. Ah. First of all, why? Why does it look like that? I just took like a little bite and once I put it in my mouth, it turns to like this diarrhea looking stuff. Ooh, look at that. But I have to tell you, it tastes delish. It is like a chocolate cotton candy. That's exactly what it tastes like. So it looks like this. Take a little lick. Ew. Like from this to this with just a little lick. Oh my, that is disgusting. And you got poo on your hand. Oh, I have never been so grossed out by candy. I mean, the upside of this, you guys, it is delicious. It is so good. It is chocolate cotton candy. It's kind of fluffy, kind of sweet, and it doesn't look too bad. But once you start eating it, it is so gross. Ugh. You don't even want to eat it. Look at that. Like Hershey's syrup. Literally looks like you stuffed this on the grill and like burnt it. Like bag of poop burnt it. Wasn't too bad. Super grossed me out. I got like chocolate leaking all over my table. It looks like doggy duty all over my hand. I mean it tasted good but just the thought of it and the look of it is gross. I can't take it. Get this away. Oh, nothing about this looks right and it shouldn't even be edible. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And I poured some water on that. Eee, it turned into some water poop. Oh, last one is gonna give me nightmares. Eee, I don't know why I decided to put the water. It just turned into a mess. It looked like a swamp, but my table is clean, and we are moving on to some dark McStuffins. So cute. In this little particular box, everything is actually written in Spanish, which is kind of cool. I've never seen this one. Here's our little prizes. Let's see. Uh oh, that's the good dinosaur for your information. That ain't Doc McSuffins. Uh, like, where's the Doc McSuffins? You guys, this is so weird. Instead of getting that one, I got a good dinosaur chocolate egg. It's kind of weird, but it's still kind of cute. Weird. Puppet. Ah! 
guys. So first of all, it was Doc McStuffins. Then the wrapper was a good dinosaur. But I think we are back to Doc McStuffins. This is good. This is kind of like a trick egg. Okay, uh. opening that confused egg. I never knew what we were gonna get. We got this adorable little stuffy. Look at this little guy. He is so tiny and cute. Whatever, Bubba. I like wanting the good dinosaur. Yeah. And the candy train keeps moving along because we got some minions. Look at these little minions. Despicable Me candy jewelry. I mean, these are so cute. They are too cute for words. I don't even want to eat them. I gotta try. Let's see. Adorable! These don't even look like candies, you guys. These look like little plastic beads. Look how cute. Oh, I don't even want to eat them. So we got this one here. I think it is Stuart. Look at that. It's like a little charm. And yeah, we got my fave, Bobby. Look at this little Bob. He's like on a sweet tart. Let me try. Oh, but it's so sad because once you start licking it, the little picture goes away. Look at that. And I gave one a little taste. You know, they're almost like a little sweet tart. Super good. Super cute. These are perfect if you're having like a little minions party. Bubble, and this little yellow piece is banana flavored. It is like a banana sweet tart. Look at these little baby boxes. I call them like little baby candy boxes. They are so super tiny. And they look like they're little fruity flavors. Look at that. What is that, like a cantaloupe? They are so cute. Let me pop them out of here. Really, I've never seen such tiny boxes. Look at these, they're like for little, little teeny babies. I don't even know if there's one candy inside. But they are too cute. They almost look like little erasers. We got some grapes. Ooh, we got some apple. This one looks good. It's like melon. And what else? Tangerine. Grapefruit. And when Colleen brought me these back from Tokyo, I was like, what are they? I never could figure out what was inside. So finally, I'm getting to open them. Here goes. Oh, <laughs> what are they? Gumballs? What is that? It's so Maybe little, but woo, they pack a punch. These are such a strong flavor. This was grapefruit. I mean, I'm not too crazy about grapefruit, but this literally tastes like a mento. And when you bite into it, if you've ever had those little mentos, those kind of chewy candies, it's so fruity. It tastes like real juice. I was more interested in this melon. It's like a cantaloupe. Bubble cantaloupe, all the way. Cantaloupe is a winner. Looks like little white gumballs. Seriously tasted like I bit into a piece of melon. I mean, it's so fresh, not too, too sweet, kind of chewy. Let me try the grape ones. I think you guys, these are the tastiest, besides this little pretzel pop, which I love because it was so caramelly. I'm liking these things, they are yummy. Ooh, look how cute. They look like little grapes. Literally on a sugar high right now. I don't think I could test them all, but I'm gonna go for this apple one. Looks like a little box of Stickers or stamps, it doesn't even look like candy. And of course they're pink. Is that, is that your little sugar teens? I mean the tiniest little boxes, but I wish you could taste them. If you haven't had these before, maybe they sell them online or something like that, but they taste like little pieces of fruit. They're kind of chewy and a little bit almost like a hard candy shell. Delicious. And the Japanese candy from Tokyo. Those little fruity boxes were delish, but these are actually little fruit stickers. They're like these little gummy stickers, and I have had them before, but never this kind. They look like little grapes. Ooh, look at that, I mean, it's like a grape soda. I think there's three different flavors here. I seriously have got to start reading Japanese. I've got to. Ooh, look at that. Candy stickers, candy stickers. It looks like one of those window gel clings. And normally when I've had these, they're all little different supper pieces. You guys, I think this is one big grapevine. Look at that, it's one piece. <sighs> Look at that, that is so adorable. So shiny. This doesn't even look like food. 
like plastic. Here's a close up of the squishy little candy here. I mean, I can smell it from here. It smells like grape juice, like Welch's grape juice. Then we just break it off and take a little bite. So squish. That looks good. Black, ridiculously chewy. Black, way too chewy. Oh, and this is all that's left. Oh, you guys, this was so good. I ate the whole thing. There's only a little piece of the grapevine. They, it all tastes the same. It kind of tastes like grape soda or fruit juice. But these are so weird because they're super sticky and kind of like almost like a plasticky feeling. But they are delish once you start eating them. Yummy. We are almost there. We reached the end of the bananas. We only got two little candies left. We got some circus ring pops and sushi. Let's try this one. Literally looks like last night's dinner. Black. This is candy. Can't believe it. Oh, look at this little bento bug. Oh, it's so, so cute. First of all, I love sushi. I eat it almost every day. And this was one of Colleen's little souvenirs she brought me from Tokyo. We got some shrimp, we got an egg one. Ooh, look at this. Little fish eggs. Look how real that looks. I don't even know what these could possibly taste like. I'm thinking just like a hard sugar candy. Ooh, tastes like a tangerine, but it's supposed to be caviar. Let me try this one. Some raw fish. Looks good. So I tasted all these little sushis. I actually took a little lick of each of them. Look at this little shrimpy. We got a little California roll. They pretty much taste like sugar. They don't have any kind of flavor or like a fruit flavor. And thank goodness they don't taste like fish. Can you imagine if they tasted like real sushi? But they are so cute and adorable. I just love it. Woo! They're all sticking now. But they are yummy. They're just super sweet. Can't believe it. We are onto the final candy and we got some circus lollipops. These are so cute. Not too crazy about that little clown. I don't like clowns. But we'll try them. Literally, no one likes clowns, Bubba. Especially this one. He looks like Ronald McDonald. Believe it or not, I actually picked these babies up at Michael's, the craft store, when I was looking for some slime. I saw them right at the checkout. I just had to have them. <gasps> no, look at that little elephant. But I like this tiger. Look at that thing. So, so detailed. And this crazy clown face, ooh. Watching you, Bubba. Watching you. Ew, Bubba, look at this. I gave this little clown a lick, and he's all shiny. Ew. You got your little clown. Ew, look at all this red stuff. You know what? It doesn't even taste like anything. It's just super sugary, almost like the sushi. I'm gonna try this crazy lion. This thing is so, so cute. And like a tiger. Look at those stripes. Taste it. Tangerine with a little bit of cream. This one had a little bit more flavor. This one was kind of just plain sugar, but it is kind of cute. This one was more like an orangey and from a little Dumbo. Probably like blueberry. So cute. Looks like a little baby rattle. Ooh, Bubba, the little elephant is delish. It tastes like a blueberry popsicle. <laughs> Had to do it. I tested all three of them and they are just too cute. The blueberry was definitely the best. This cute little elephant. I thought this was the cutest. And this little clown. I don't know. Still don't like them. Going crazy with all this sugar. You guys, that is a wrap. Candy bananas finished. I love it for you guys to leave me a comment and let me know out of the sweetest stuff. What was your fave? I know, ugh, my least fave was that bag of poo. So, so gross. And the tube gum. Gross. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. And if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a nice comment down below. We are going to have so many more fun videos coming up in the show. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubblegum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys.